Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Samurai Carpenter. Hey, I'm up here. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but look at that toolbox. It's so beautiful. Yes, I'd have to agree. Um, yeah, this is a toolbox I built. Wanted to just show it off to you guys. Take a little look there. Yeah, I did a carving of a Japanese hand plane taking a, you know, a beautiful shaving and just kind of let it dance across the top there. And uh, yeah, this is a little labor of love. And I just wanted to, you know, sure. You can make a toolbox that's, you know, functional and practical and not as fancy as this. But, uh, you know, my mantra when it comes to woodworking is you want to build everything to inspire you. Uh, whether it's, you know, your hand tools, the toolboxes you have, uh, even your sawhorses, which is uh, the topic of today's video. Um, today we're going to be building a set of timber frame sawhorses um, for when you're doing the finer work in your shop, you know, uh, it's nice to have a good set of sawhorses that can carry a lot of weight and uh, are also beautiful and inspiring to look at, which kind of makes you up your game. Uh, when you're doing woodworking as opposed to just using crappy old sawhorses. Um, I like to just enrich my life with as much beauty as possible and I do that through woodworking. So yeah, let's have some fun and build some sexy sawhorses. So now that we got our wood ready to go, the question is, what's the best way to lay it all out? Well, when you're doing a joinery and uh, all that kind of fun stuff, layout can easily make or break your project so the best way that i have come across is to do this go to the lumber yard buy a sheet of 1 8 mahogany door skin it's about 11 bucks like really that's cheap lay it all out full scale on the door skin use a utility knife cuts right through it make all your templates right out of the door skin transfer them onto the wood trace it out cut it out put it together you're done Bold. It's the only way to go. It's the way the Japanese do it. Try it out. It'll work. You'll love it. You'll never go back. All right, let's get cut. All right, so once you put your templates on your wood, trace them all out. Then you just need to go over, line up where your shoulder cuts are. Scribe those lines across, down the sides, and then onto the other side. That way you know you got nice square, even shoulder lines going all the way around. And then once you've got that laid out on both sides, you can get to the cutting. So yeah, basically you want to chisel out a sixteenth inside your line all the way around and then come back and pair that last sixteenth down and you'll get a lot sharper, cleaner edge, less tear out. All right, so these are the trestle pieces that will be going through the middle of the sawhorse, just tying it all together, and then I'm um, doing a wedged dovetail through tenon, which sounds complicated, but it's not. Basically, it's just a through tenon. You cut two slots about three-eighths of an inch away from each edge, and just like an axe head, you're going to pound a wedge into each one. Now, to prevent this, the slot from splitting down the wood, a little trick is to uh, about half an inch away from your shoulder. Just drill a hole right there. And that'll uh, prevent the, the cut that you make from when you jam your wedge in there. It'll prevent it from continuing to split down the wood. And it allows the wood to bend a little bit easier. 
voila. guys that's how you build your own beautiful set of shop saw horses no nails no glue the old-fashioned way tune in next week we'll be making a hand carved peace pipe if you enjoyed this video and it helped you dial up your awesome just a little bit please do me a huge favor and hit the like button and also yeah caring is sharing guys so yeah you could help me out, share this with your other wood enthusiast friends. I would greatly appreciate that. We'll see you next week.